So anyway, folks, I was out here doing some work today in the yard and I had someone helping me for a short while and you know, we got into a conversation and it got a little heated. And, you know, eventually I got them to see some of the point and it's connected to why I wanted to talk to you guys today. You know, I love how I get these experimental uh, discussions where I, I, I pick a person's brain and I let them talk and I, because I, I want to gauge it's really important person to person on this level when I meet people now to try to understand their reasoning because I'm convinced and I've been shown that most people are in the darkness and whether they know it or not by their ignorance or their, their willful wanting to do or something, but the majority of people are in a certain place in consciousness in their heart and their vibration in general. And you know, I was doing some stuff and I'm a little dirty. Y'all got to forgive me. I got some dust and shit on me, but you know, we were moving some stuff and I got some stuff done today. Feel good about that. But we were talking about the weather, you know, interesting, huh? Not going on right. And we were talking about the weather and you know, whenever I, I hear people speak on these things, you know, I get real quiet and I shut up and I, cause I want to hear what they got, what they have to say. They don't, they obviously don't know the great one is right there present. But I want to hear what they have to say. So, you know, it got a little heated because I disagreed with some of the things he was saying. I was trying to make him see some things. But he was talking about the NOA forecast. And he was saying that somehow this there's a forecast for something coming up. And there's some things I could have told you guys about. And I told you at this point, I'm not going to discuss any of the things. Hey, great one. I'm not going to discuss any of the things that are coming up. You know the impending things because you know you wanted thunderballs you're going to get them okay sometimes you have to you know put the puppy puppy's nose in the shit you you get what i'm saying to, to make them smell it to understand what time it is right because a lot of you up to this very point have taken this for a joke this is just entertainment and that's fair that's fair i told you you this is your free will up to this we all have it folks right Mother Earth has it too, on a great one. She has on a great one. Sorry, y'all. She has it too, folks. And so whether you want to bear witness to reality or not, that's your choice. But it's going to go down because she has free will. So he was talking about the NOA forecast and he was saying how, you know, he's looked at some of these other streams and stuff and some of these more accurate streams show there's a major, 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 you know, close to unprecedented storm coming up on Halloween or something, right? And it's happened before, but it's not, it's something that's so, it's not, it's not a really common thing, folks. None of these things are. <laughs> and so, you know, this is going to happen. And so you guys are not going to get to celebrate your devil day, but okay. Told you guys that they, they, they're taking some things away, but y'all don't get it. And, and, and more importantly, the most high is calling for this, folks. This is rare. You're not going to get the skippy-de-do and give praise to the devil and the, and the most high is bringing wrath. Y'all don't get that. But anyway, he was saying that, and this is, this is what's showing me what I'm talking about, about that ignorance about how people think where he was, he was, he was completely, you know, innocent in his reasoning. And it, it was scary because this guy was, was, I was looking in his face and he really believed what he, and felt what he was saying. And, 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 you know, and I'm like, I guess that's what it is to be third dimensionally grounded. You know what I'm saying? That you try to reason everything with that, that piece of paper or something. But he was saying that the forecast, like he going to this, he, he was saying that the forecast was showing that there weren't going to be uh, any major storms or something was going to, uh, was shown as being less severe than what, what the European model was showing or something. He was saying, why would they do that? That's strange. And he, and I was looking at him like, do you not understand that these are narcissists? Do you not understand? I try to make him reason. I try to reason with him about these suppressors. Now, because he's in the matrix, he couldn't grab what I'm saying. Those with the vibration, you get it. You'll get exactly what I'm saying. But like I told you, the the building to be burning down, and then the you know in the back, and the weathermen they'll be sweating from the flames, and they'll keep a smile on their face. It's called being controlled. It's called a job. It's called controlling the narrative, folks. So yeah, I was trying to explain to him. Of course, they're not going to say that a major storm is coming because the storms have been coming continuously for the last couple of months, right? Like, like I told you, right? Right? 
And you, you think Mother Earth is going to stop, folks? Huh? You think she's she, you think she's thinking, oh, y'all had enough. I'm going to leave those people alone. They're over there minding their business. Did, did, did y'all think that when that spatter was over there, you know, against the, uh, the, the uh, roof, did, did y'all think that that spider was minding his business or those ants or any of these things that y'all trample on every day? Or, or, or how about how about your, your fellow man, your brother, your sister, right? The people that you trample every day. I was trying to make him, you know, we didn't get into all of that part of it because sometimes you have to shut it down. I just let him talk and I listened to what he was saying. And he was just like just like the, the older folks I was talking to last week or something. They have this rational way of thinking, but it's third dimensionally grounded. Remember, third dimensional reality that you know is of current will not exist anymore. This current reality, right? Y'all keep saying it's going to be the end of the world. The world is not going anywhere. It's going to be the end of your reality of this society, folks. I told you we're going to do away with money. All of this shit, this foolishness, folks. You know, the suppressors, the people who can't even fucking, they're, they're not even rational and sane enough to just give you news. They can't control the most high his hands. They can't control the weather. They can't make it stop raining or snowing or earthquakes or volcanoes. They can't control any of this shit. But, but they figure the best thing they can do in the, in, the, in the reasoning of a fucking foolish narcissist is to try to get ahead of the story, folks. Right? Get ahead of the story by telling y'all it's not going to be so bad even though you're looking at it be completely terrible right and if they have you on a level where they can program your thoughts where you're looking at something and they're telling you something else and you're doing that then that's called fragmenting so you're crazy i'm trying to show you how all of you have taken these you know have 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 been drinking this kool-aid folks the narcissist is a fucking fool and he will say any fucking thing just to to uh, pass by the moment. And this is why I wanted to talk to you today about this. Because this is getting to something bigger. The bigger energy. Remember folks. I am very studied in this field. Because I have experienced my life. Up to this point. In many ways. I'm now attached to higher energy. So I can see all of demoniacs for who they are. And there are many of you folks out there. Who are demoniacs. And I was, I was, you know, talking to someone else not too long ago. We were having a conversation. Someone actually wanted to talk to me about, because they know that, I guess, I guess some people, it depends on your level of strength. Some people are just, just not strong enough to deal with this consistent barrage of energy. And they haven't built up their resistance. Many of you who have this, this master vibration from the most high, you, you have been dealt this pain, folks. Now, you were strong enough, hey great one, you were strong enough to deal with it, folks. And that's what he blessed you with, that extra resilience, core resilience that you have up to this point. But some, some people are good-hearted and they're weak, folks, and they don't know how to handle these demoniacs. The people that are sucking their energy and continuously doing things to hurt them. And so they wanted to talk to me about, you know, sort of like combating, but but... They were, they were really trying to figure out how to, how to just understand this thing. How to understand who, who they're looking at. And, because they know I can see on a certain level. They know I have an insight. They don't know to what degree. But they know I have an insight. I've told them things in the past. And, and sure as shit, I was right. Because I know what I'm looking at, folks. And now I am blessed. The demoniac is a narcissist. Narcissism is, is, the, is the gene of demoniac. It's simply you guys get into your clinicals and your books and shit and you want to talk about all of these these uh, scientific phrases, these mental exercises you want to discuss and, you know, who's this and who's that by classification. And what I'm trying to explain to you guys is, yes, you, you okay, yeah, that's some technical third dimensional pen and paper shit. But on a bigger level, folks, I keep trying to explain to you because we're in reckoning. Everything has to lead back to the real fight, the real issue, folks. It's about good and bad, good versus evil, negative energy versus positive energy, folks. Negative energy is, is going to damn you, folks. And you're watching damnation begin and take place. Okay? All of the, the, the writing is on the walls. Everything is adding up to this apocalyptic time, right? Even you scientists out there who don't want to get into your, 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 uh, your doctrines of religion, right? Because I don't want to get into religion. This is The most high is not about religion, folks. And you haven't figured that out yet. 
This is about vibration. This is about a lot of things. A lot of you, when I when I was because I was talking to this person, and there are people around this world, society, folks. I've seen them in all walks. I've seen them in all races, and 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 men and women, folks, different races. I've seen this same energy, and I see it now. It's more pronounced now because I see the demoniacs exactly for who they are, and they're very uncomfortable. So I have a a, a very uncomfortable time in many situations when I'm dealing with these folks, simply because of my attachment to higher energy, right? And that is the threat, folks. Okay, they don't know what's going to happen at that point. And sometimes the people don't even know why they're doing it. They have they're, they're ignorant to the demoniacs living in their house, the squatters that I've been talking about, because they wanted something. They wanted to be a part of something, so they. They, are, they, they were weak like that to be accepted. And they, they brought into real actual demoniacs who took them over, folks. If you're a flying monkey, you're pretty much in the same boat. And you'll be done away with as well. Nobody, no one has time to sort this out on their level, folks. High energy, low energy. Mother Earth is, 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 is creating this existence in high energy. If your energy doesn't meet, you can't be in this reality. It's just simple as that. You know? But, I, I, you know, it made me, you know, I've looked at some of these, these weather videos and stuff. I've gotten interested in this stuff. You know, just, just listening. I'm not even interested in learning anything. I can, they can't teach me anything, folks. Trust me, they, they, they don't know anything. But I like, I'm entertained by listening to their scientific speak and their hypotheses about, oh, well, we think this is going to go there and this and that. And I'm sitting there looking at Mother Earth and, you know, making faces. And, and, that, and that's entertaining enough as it is. I mean, I enjoy doing that. I literally like to do that i like to look at the weatherman while mother earth is present i i love doing that because if he says something dumb he's going to get it and i love it i don't have to say these are gods folks they're gods they're holding they're, they're they're the caretakers and administrators of this reality so i laugh you know when i hear y'all that's why i told y'all at this point because this is going forward it's going to increase you guys think that you're going to have a few bad storms and then you're going to wake up one day and it's going to be buttercups and roses and it's not going to happen like that if you're a demoniac it's not going to happen like that for you for those of you who want to be with the most high and that's why like i told you it's getting to a critical point in actual reality folks you are narrow-minded people you live on a planet you're humans you're booty stinkers you're underarm funkers you're nose blowers you're breath stinkers you're ignorant you're racist you're stupid you're intolerant in everything, all of the lowest things. You have to understand what I'm trying to explain to you. No, nothing in high reality wants to deal with you folks. You, you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. You think that you can go to the heavens and I keep trying to explain to you. You keep talking about all this foolishness. You're not allowed in the heavens. And I keep telling you, and t when you get smacked in your mouth, because it's going to, it's going to, the, the punches are going to start coming much harder, folks. Okay. And you're going to start spitting teeth. Like, like, like you, you've been getting a few backhands in the floor and you, and you know, because you're, you're so crazy, you can't even, you don't even realize the most high is holding your life. You don't even realize he could snap, he could snap you out right now. He could let it go right now. Right. And so because you're into your pen and paper and shit, you, you try to calculate, well, no. And you come up with all these things and we, we saw these, there's a better planet than earth and stuff. Or you guys make these little jokes. I hear these little weatherman jokes. And lately, you guys like to bring up sports games. And I guess you're, you're trying to see because you're so stupid, you're trying to come at it on a, a basic human level. Let me explain something to you, folks. I don't, I don't care who you surveillers are or anything. You're in a fishbowl. On the right day, in the right moment, right, you can, you can lose everything. Literally. And, I, and I'm going to make that word a grand word with a capital E. Everything. Right? Anything. You're not holding this reality, folks. You're you're not mighty. You're just you're just specks of dust, right? So y'all play these games with Mother Earth, and y'all try to taunt and stuff. She's making your air, and you're talking shit because you're crazy. You don't even reason that you're the weaker of the, of the, of these two dynamics. In this dynamic, you're the weaker party, folks. You understand what I'm saying to you? Everything that you have is you're dependent on, right? So you talk this shit, but then you want your crops to grow. You see what I'm trying to explain to you? You talk this shit, but then you want the rain to come. You, you see what I'm trying to explain to you? See, the most high was giving you that as a gift. And I'm trying to make you narcissistic fuckers understand this. But you're crazy. 
the average one of you think that this is the way to go because either you're crazy or you're too dumb to think for yourselves. You would rather someone think for you, in this case, be the narcissist, the, the sociopath, the suppressor of your society. In every way, folks, you want to get up every day, you want somebody to break your back and then not even pay you fairly for breaking your back. And then they want you to pay for everything and, and still don't give you enough and still take from that. And you don't reason and they keep everything for themselves. And you don't reason that that's, that's crazy. See, Mother Earth is a goddess. She's holding this whole reality, folks. Whole thing. So if you have vast lands and they're beautiful, remember whose lands they belong to. It's not yours, motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? You God provided Mother Earth to provide you with this material reality, right? Just like in heavenly worlds when you run through the beautiful fields and the beautiful oceans that no one's paying rent on. You, you get what I'm saying? Foolishness that you guys do down here, right? And so on every level, we see your narcissism because we see that person who wants to see a spider minding its business in its habitat because it has to live somewhere, climb up on something and get all up on the roof somewhere, on a shingle somewhere, and trying to smash a spider's head in, right? So how about the great ones? How Because, because they have actual children as well they have real god children and how about these god children on a, on a typical day of playing they see some humans and they say oh we want to take this human and we want to take this whole state and move it over there and they do something like that they, they shift your, your, your they take and move your ice caps or something you, you understand what i'm saying they just playing they're just humans and then and then and then one of the the, the, the great ones say no don't do that don't do that little one they go they're just humans you see what i'm trying to explain to you folks and that could literally happen for real. It literally could happen. It wouldn't happen because even godly children are gods, folks. Supreme wisdom and everything, right? They're disciplined, folks. But I'm just trying to show you if they were just as reckless as the human mind, how much shit you would get. You're getting shit right now because you're in wrath. And, and in wrath, they're showing you exactly what you've shown everything else. When Mother Earth takes your homes and tosses them like rag dolls about here and there, and moves your landscape around, right? She has no, she's no respect of who you are, where you live, how much money you make, because the money ain't real, motherfucker. She's giving you a place to stand, motherfucker. You understand me? And so, yeah, when I talk about the love in my heart, I'm only talking about those who have the vibration. Because remember, going forward, you people without devoid of love, you're not going to exist in this reality going forward. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not even addressing you with love. You're going to be destroyed. The most high who holds all of our lives is going to destroy you. And those of you who, who, who still get caught up in your, 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 uh, your egos, right? You're this and I'm that and, you know, and I'm trying to make you understand. Even when you talk about sexuality, folks, I was talking to someone about this too. And they, they were trying to put it on a level where, see, that's why we can do what we're doing. No, 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 folks. In high realities, what are you talking about? And how you see, you're, you're, you're still keeping your mind on some low level, lustful shit, some, some perverted shit. You understand what I'm trying to explain to you in that connection? You're, you're thinking on that level, right? If you're still coveting yourselves based on sexuality, you're still coveting. If you do a certain thing in a group and you say, we're this, you're still coveting. Doesn't matter what you're doing you understand for those specific things that are sexual we're not going to even discuss that i told you before there will be a moment in time where you will face the most high and anything that you're doing that you think is right you can tell him you can tell him that you think that he's he's unjust for for telling you that you're wrong or whatever he's going to do because he holds your life he's the ultimate judge so we're not going to, we're not talking about sexuality we're talking about oneness we're talking about the idea of a soul, folks. We're not talking about sex. Men and women's sex and women and women's sex and all that foolishness. See, yeah, that's why we can do that because we're about, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. In high reality, that shit is not existing, folks. All of this stuff you're doing now, right? Trafficking kids and shit and fucking killing babies and all of this fucking demonic foolishness you guys are doing. Putting chips in each other's heads and shit. Right? Hypnotizing celebrities and shit. I'm trying to show you that when you want money or you want some bullshit material thing, 
and someone controls your mind, you can never call out to God because you have lost your faculty to even reason and know who you are. If I fragment your mind and you're three different people, you don't, you can never find yourself. And this is how your souls are damned. Most of you have given in. We'll do a part two to this video, folks. You know, but I'm tired of this negative energy because I want to get into the narcissism. I got, I got off right now. It's a little long. I'm going to go uh, get something to eat and I'll come back and do a follow up to this. You know, take a break or something. You know, maybe, matter of fact, I get the work done and I'll come back and talk to you guys. And I want to talk about the demoniac because I was talking to that person. That's what I really want to get to. The, the people that have to deal with this stuff. Jobs are not going to exist going forward, but right now you got to deal with it. So I'm going to talk about these people at the different job sites and these types of people. Because on a bigger level, folks, it's about positive energy and negative energy. The reason why the reckoning is here is because negative energy is going to be done away with. Part two is coming up. Y'all take care.